All right, welcome back to the stream. <laughs> so, for some reason, my computer crashed on me when the game was, I don't know, about two-thirds of the way through. So, um, good news is we won the game, so, and quite handily. Um, deck performed excellently. Unfortunately, you didn't get to see that end part. <laughs> um, but it's frustrating. I don't know, this computer, I think it, um, I'll kill a little time here and let people get back, but... Um, I think it was running like an update in the background and when it finished, it was just like, nope, you're done. So, um, <laughs> there you have it. So probably what I have to do with these streams, cause I have a computer that I bought just to stream and I don't use it the rest of the week. Like I do my videos on my old computer. Um, so I think what was going on was like, I turn this thing on once a week and then it tries to do updates and all sorts of weird stuff. So I probably need to, um, either start it earlier and let it do whatever it needs to do or try to use it more i don't know <laughs> there you have it um so that's frustrating we had a good little uh, group watch in we had a good stream going and really good deck great draft um so now we just have to um get back into it my computer is still messed up too. Like it, it, it looks fine on the uh, stream, but like my view is kind of awkward. It's like in a window for some reason. I restarted the computer, restarted the program. I don't know why it's doing this. So, <laughs> but it's fine. I think I got it set up so I can I can play all right now. So, ugh, what can you do, right? So, uh, ultimately, like the computer I'm streaming on probably isn't sufficient. Um, you know, it, it gets the job done, but eventually I need to get something better. So this type of thing doesn't happen, but... Oh, well. Shall we start game two? We get back at it. Uh, let's jump in. So, I see some people are starting to get back. Thanks for coming back. Sorry about that. It's frustrating. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah. You know, I think this is okay. Said my... This the um, the stream it looks fine on my PC. Everything's askew a little bit, so hopefully I can see the bottom of the screen. Okay. All right. So we won game one, yay! Um, deck worked great. Did exactly what it was supposed to do. Just amassed like crazy and just did our damage with our with our zombie token basically. <laughs> Um, and Stealth Mission won us the game in the end, so we could get by with our last damage. But we were doing quite well regardless. Uh, very similar hand to last time. So I say we keep. Opponent's going to go first. They're looking at their hand, apparently. Um, so, yeah. You know, this, like I said at the, at the beginning of <laughs> part one of the stream... Um, you know, Demir, I think it's the best color combination. I think a mass is the best thing you can do in draft. We got lucky to be able to get into the deck. Um, you know, we drafted well to try to secure our position. I think we did, uh, which is awesome. So, so that worked out. Um, you know, I do think Azorius probably the worst color combination, but unlike other sets, unlike, say, Murders at Carlisle Manor, I don't feel like there's a huge disparity between Demir and Azorius. And there are other there's other also really good color combinations. Is it is pretty darn close to Demir. Um, you know, it, there, basically, I don't think you can really go wrong. I think you want to try to steer for two colors in this set. There are some good splashes you can pull off, and there are some ways to do it. But ultimately, I do think War of the Spark is, you know, if you can get into the deck we got into, I think wonderful. But, like, if you don't, it's not like you can't have a good draft either so you know i've done well with azorius decks before these Azorius flyers are just fine like they're just fine blue is probably the most powerful color so it feels a little awkward that's a good card um it feels a little awkward when you play like blue white kind of kind of it sort of diminishes the power of blue in a way but you know, it's it's still very playable, still very good. That's another good card, Paradise Druid. I mean, 
they can play a four drop here. We can bounce it. And we will. <laughs> and we will. Alright. Oh, okay. All right, that's problematic. Until uh, end of turn, each planeswalker you control becomes a dragon and create the four four. Yep. Okay. Well, a flyer. I don't know what help. What do we got here? Um, this is quickly becoming better. <laughs> um. I mean, we could play this in get this thing off the table because if we don't we're getting hit by eight next turn oh okay so i guess we kind of have to we have no choice They'll take in four at least. And they got another four, four to play behind this thing. Okay. Gets a little awkward. Could do this and try to hit. Try to hit the um, sack of creature, destroy creature card, which we missed completely. Um, we do need this. Flyer getting here sooner than later would probably be good for us. Three, four, five, six. We do want to eventually hit that land. Okay, let's just do that. Um, well, we didn't hit what we wanted, so we're going to be taking a bit of a beating here. So, things are 2-2. Two, two. I mean, I can sit here and chump block this silly thing. We also got this 4-4 four, four now to deal with, too. This is going to hurt us, but... <laughs> and the man land yeah I think they got this um and we can chump block this indefinitely it's just all gonna catch up with us though We can play this, draw a card. We're gonna lose life though as well. So now we're just staying alive. I 
Yeah, I mean, unless... This isn't going to end well for us. Unless we draw into something pretty major. We just start hitting our removal. If we just start ripping removal, maybe we have a chance. Um, let's play chump blockers. Then next turn we can play that, if nothing else. And see another card. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Opponent came out of the gate hot. I didn't even think our hand was bad. Like, I thought our hand was, was very sufficient. But they just had it all. They had 4 4 flyer. I mean, that just nailed us. I mean, the ramp into it. It was just. There was no way around it. Even with the tempo play. And that thing cost 5. I mean, they had it out on turn 4. It was it was good. Okay, so what can we do here? Um, we can chop this. Chop this. At some point, it should just concede. I kind of want to see what we get our next turn. I mean, it's too, I mean at this point, it's too late. We don't have a word sweep. <laughs> I just want to see what it comes up. Lands. Yeah, that's going to be it. Okay. GG's. <laughs> What's up, Bob? Yeah, my PC died on me. Fun and excitement. I think it was, uh, I don't know if you caught it at the beginning, but yeah, I think it was running an update in the background and it finished and was like, nope. <laughs> just shut everything off. So that's pretty awesome. Thanks. Um, so we won game one. We lost game two. Game one went great. We just kind of rolled over our opponent. Game two, like we had a good opening hand, but the opponent had a better opening hand. I mean, they just they just had it all. They ramped into um, Sarkhan four four dragon on turn four. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> so they got that one. But hey. I feel like the deck did what it was supposed to do. We even tempoed them. And, uh, they played a 4-4 four, four in turn 3. We tempoed that back to their hand. And then came Sarkhan. And then it was like... Ugh. And then just card after card after card. So, and the only time they used the ramp was the 4-4 the four, four that we tempoed back to their hand. And the Sarkhan. Other than that, like they had enough land to do what they wanted to do. Yeah, just is what it is. Um, awkward hand here. Um... <laughs> Removal and flying. <laughs> yep. I've played with those Azorius decks in this in this format before. They can be quite good. Um, I always felt like they were the weakest though in war. Not that the weakest is like is like bad because like I feel like for the most part all the color combinations are like pretty equal. Um. But, you know, it compared to, say, Murders, where clearly there's better color combinations. <laughs> um, Demir here, I think, is the best, but I don't think it's, like, a far cry from, like, if I say Azorius is the worst. I don't think it's, like, that much worse, quite honestly. Um, you know, is it's really good, too. Like, blue is just very strong in general, I think, in this format. But... We do have a turn three play here. Opponent's going to go first. We're going to draw. I mean, I think this is a keep. We can kind of come back with these cards here. And our opponent mulligan, so. Um. Yeah, we got a good two drop out. So, yay. That worked. Yup. Yup. Yep. Oh, we got a better two drop. Let's just run this out. Kind of feels like bitter blossom in a way, kind of, sort of, allegedly, allegedly. Hmm. 
That'll be good. Okay, so we do want to play this. We can bounce their token and make ours bigger. I like that. How many of these do they have? opponent's stumbling a little bit, but, like, they've drawn a lot of cards. So, like, <laughs> at some point, they could catch up if we don't get on them. Yup. But they had to give up a little bit to do that. This is a tough card, card. I mean, once it's out, if you don't have an answer for it, like, you have to, like, just keep putting all your resources into controlling it. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see we do this. That way they can't see any more cards, hopefully. All right, that did it. That did it. So two and one. I I kind of feel like that game two was a fluke. Like our opponent, like just they could have won a legacy game with that deck, um, <laughs> with that draw. It's like that was kind of crazy. All right, we'll keep going. I like our deck a lot. It's, uh, it's the two games that we won. I mean, it was kind of a blowout. Um, our opponent did stumble there, but they did they did draw a lot. Um, th but then they couldn't hit land. So at first they mulliganed, and they had land issues still. So it is what it is, though. So. All right. Yeah, this is a good start. We want to draw into some heat, but we got at least a foundation here. I don't think we've been on play yet. <laughs> Finally, we're on the play. Okay. All right. What do we got here? I got that. That's a decent draw. At least it gives us, gives us something to do on turn three. It's a little larger than the two two. These 2-2s two are good in the late game, especially. Like, this format can be very grindy. Not that you would know it by the first three games, <laughs> but it can be. Yeah, sure, fine. By all means. I'll go a little bigger. See if they want to remove that, too. And we're up against is it like I said earlier, is it is really good. A really solid co uh, color combination. Here. So this thing's gonna get annoying to attack into pretty quick. Um Cost three, yeah, let's just get rid of it. So what's nice is we get rid of that and attack their three and still play the two two. Now we do need to start hitting some heat though, because we're running out of gas quick.
after I get that, right? <laughs> Sacrifice. Alright, they got the cards, we don't. So we just gotta play off the top of the deck now. We start ripping lands, we probably lose this. We rip some heat. Maybe okay. That's not something. So now if we keep ripping lands, if this creature stays alive, at least we know we can get damage across. But, okay, we got there. Alright, that's three and one. Pretty quick. Pretty quick, pretty quick. I have to platinum tier four. I've only been playing really, like, on these streams. <laughs> um, I think I played, like, a couple of games off stream, but... Man, what if I actually put time into this? <laughs> I might remember how to play Magic after all. <laughs> all right. Too bad our first stream went out. A lot of y'all came back. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Bob, for being back. I um, appreciate that. That's frustrating. We had a good stream going. Good deck, good draft. First game got cut off. <laughs> it was a good game too. Well, for us, <laughs> it was a little one-sided. <laughs> but you know, I don't. Know, I I haven't done many of these streams. You know, since I've been back, I've only done, you know handful and um before that i only streamed a couple a few times um yeah this is very good we will keep it um not in play but okay but yeah it's it's um oh there you go that's quite good um Could bounce that, but we'll just bounce. We'll let, we'll let them make their token and bounce it when the time's right. Um, but yeah, I really need to get the streaming thing working more efficiently. Um, yeah, Beanpot, great set, right? Um, really fun to draft. It's been so long, you know. It's, I, you know, honestly, like I said, I, I had to kind of really think and get back into the groove of this set when the draft was going on, but. Um, but it's really awesome, uh, really awesome set, awesome to draft. Yeah, we'll take that. Two, five, okay. So now we have some options. That thing costs four, that thing, so, okay. We can bounce... Can bounce and destroy. And we're still staring down this two five vanilla. Um, I can play another flyer and just kind of ride this out a little longer. We do want to get this thing growing though, or it could keep up the counter magic, <laughs> and that would also lead to an amass. Um. Maybe that's what we do. I'll hold that back though so our opponent doesn't walk all over us. I don't mind taking a little damage if our opponent can walk into a trap here. I mean, that's not the best thing. Um to counter but 
it's counterable and it's gonna let us amass, which is what we kind of want to do here. Oh, it's actually not counterable. I didn't see your opponent have two up, but that's okay. Really, I wanted the amass more than anything here. I will take. Now we got stuff to do. Let's keep going with this train. If we can mitigate this, even like we can still mess with it with Tyrant Scorn, we want to. I mean, they're still taking damage. <laughs> hmm, that's aggressive. This could be a win condition for us. Hold that up to counter. This is also an instant if push came to shove. Get the MS activation. This we can actually cast. <laughs> Another one. Okay. So we have our opponent on board, I think, right? Like, if we take. We just take this so nothing dies. Three, four, five, six. They don't have any flyers, right? So, that's that. That's the Amass deck. <laughs> now, our opponent, I don't know. Like, that's the thing with, um, what's that Dread Horror? No, I can't remember the name of it. But um, It's in our deck, too. It can backfire on you. And our opponent took a lot of damage from it, and we were able to mitigate it the whole time. So, yeah. You gotta be careful with that card. But it is good. Like, you normally get that down in turn one, like it did for us, I think, was that the previous game. It can be pretty rough to deal with, right? But our deck was able to deal with it all right, so. Um, probably not as good in a mirror-type matchup where you're both trying to amass, but. Anyhow, let's see. So that is our fourth win. We're four and one. Man, that one game was just like, our opponent had it all. Like, I feel like this could have been a 7-0 and deck if uh, that didn't happen. But, you know, hey. It's all right. You play the game. That's why you play the games, right? <laughs> That's why I play the games. So, I'm having fun with this deck though. I'm having a great time um, with War of the Spark again. I remember, like, the more I play this, the more I remember. It. I must have drafted this a fair amount. Eww. I don't know. We're going first, so we're not going to draw. 
There's nothing we can do on turn one, two, and three right now. <laughs> I'd hate to mulligan. I mean, we have land. We have later plays that are good, but, like, I don't know. I think we have to mulligan this, because there's, there's just too many situations where that's just very bad. This is, like, better, because um, we can do stuff a little bit earlier. So, like, keep. It's still not great, but let's just put one of these islands at the bottom. And let's go... So, a little bit awkward start here. <laughs> yeah, being bought. Turn five, that'd be awesome, man. <laughs> We've been golden. This little tempo card is nice. It's awkward when they play it. They're going to get another bonus out of it if I just bounce it. I could get rid of it. But let's see. Let's see what they got in their hand. Mm-hmm. That's kind of scary. Okay, okay. Um, clearly, I mean, this is the more these you know these things are maybe a more immediate threat, but this gets hits the battlefield, we're kind of in trouble. So I think that's gonna go. Take that. Okay, so we can deal with some of this stuff now. Got the removal. Just gonna take this. It's also good. So we gotta start disrupting things here. So. Get rid of the first striker. Hmm. Bounce this attack, hang on to that. Oh, that's awesome, Joseph. I can imagine that being awesome for you to play, actually. Because I do love, uh, I do love this format. So we have a few options here. I mean, I could attack, I could play this first and just see what we draw into. Um, we already have the card that we could play, right? Unless we draw, I suppose, a land. Here, let's just do this. I mean, they're tapped out, so they can't really stop what we're doing. 
Um, I mean, these are good. I'd like to have something that can help us amass, though. I mean, the land's definitely going to start at the bottom. Hmm. I think we just need more heat right now. That's something, actually. Okay. So now, how do we race? want to do that. Sack. It's going to be a close game. That's awkward. We're in a weird spot because we have to get some damage across. Take the damage here, take another card. Okay, well that could get us where we need to be if we survive. Okay, let's see what happens this turn. If our opponent um, can do something to us, well, that's not too bad. Okay. We can gain life. They gotta block this, puts them to one creature. Because right now, if they have a haste creature, we're not necessarily dead, but. Oh, hey, Joseph. Is it? I'll check on it in just a second. See what it's doing. Is it, it sounds okay to you, Bean Pot? Okay. I'll check it. Hmm, hmm, hmm. If they have a removal spell, we're in trouble. Okay, let's not attack. <laughs> I could have attacked with a horde, but then if they had a removal spell, like they, they could have taken it and then we'd be dead. This way, we win next turn. Again, as long as they don't have an instant removal spell. For a green and a red, which I don't think there's one. <laughs> so think we're okay? Okay, that's fine. That was a close one. <laughs> that was a close one. Alright, hang on one second. I'm going to mess with my audio a little bit here. Just to make sure that's 
Hopefully, this doesn't make a lot of noise. I'm gonna mess with the mic. <laughs> hang, hang tight. Okay. All right. Let me know. Check, check, check. Okay. Let me know how that is. If, if it does anything weird. This is another thing I'm still trying to get right to. Is the mic? It's a little tricky. Um, it's a little tricky sometimes on me. I just need to stream more, that's the problem. I stream once a week, so it's like I'm I never kinda get everything ironed out. It's been getting better though, so it's down. Alright, good game, good game. Where does that put us? I completely lost track here. Um, that's five wins, so five and one. Again, that loss though, it really like it really kinda sticks. <laughs> This opponent have just the best draws, but good for them. That was awesome. They had a solid deck too, but man, the draws were just like, whoa. The hand, the opening hand was just devastating. Like, I don't know how to beat something like that. But the other games we have been either dominant or that one was close. Like that one, I felt like we were falling behind early. I mean, we did fall again. Not a great start. Um, but then, yeah. The deck came through and did what it was supposed to do, so. And I'm proud of myself for not just, like, kind of giving up on that game. Because there's times where I would have done that. You know, you gotta trust the deck. You gotta, you know, see it out a little bit sometimes. Okay. No swamp. A little awkward. But we do have a, we do have plenty of early good blue plays. Um, so even if we drew another island, we're great. I think this is a keep. Opponent goes first. We're going to see another card. Opponent always goes first. Right? Huh? Okay, and it is an island. I'm okay with that right now. We just need to get a swamp someday here. <laughs> Something they are not too distant. Okay, we don't want to bounce that. <laughs> Let's not bounce that. But we did just get that swamp on it, which is... Perfect. Okay. What's the first thing to do? Is it a mana rock? Okay, okay so it's color fixing. Ooh. Now we're talking. Probably should attack first, but. That's not right. Anyway, that's fine. Alright, alright. So now the game is we want to get this thing growing as fast as possible. Using another card. Interesting. Let's see what we got. Additional cost. Sacrifice creature deals four damage. This exile target permanent you control. Okay. So you can draw a card at nothing else. A mass zombies for excess number of instant sorceries in a graveyard. Um, draw two cards and a mass. Okay. Probably just get rid of this. We can bounce a zombie token if they start getting too crazy with that. Um, we can also do four damage to something. an instant two for two. 
I'm thinking. Let's bounce the token and get in there is one option. Or play this a little slower because remember this isn't murders at Carlo Manor. Um, but we don't want to keep taking damage in the air either. So let's do this. Now it's got the lifelink, so that's going to be hard to deal with. I mean, they have to get an answer for that pretty quick. Show remorse. I'll show this. That's more yeah, like that's it. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> that is a thing. Well, we can get rid of Time Rattler, which we will. Um... Now we can do something. Well, maybe not. Um, we really need that extra land. Takes care of that. Opponent's got a whole handful of cards, though. That, that's a little scary. Stuck on land. Maybe we can just pay for this. Oh, that would cost an additional four. No, we can't. That's fine. Sack. Target creature, gonna do it right this time. <laughs> yeah. Submit. Grab that off the battlefield. We can chomp. Or we could trade. Sure, sure. Draw 
on land, we can do this. Exactly seven. If we, um, well, we did two this turn, so, so we have five. Assuming we don't block, we got seven on board, but obviously they haven't played the blocker yet. Nor they can get rid of it. Sure. <laughs> There's that too. to counter our own spell. can bounce something. Let's see what they do. Take five, they're tapped out. So I couldn't take the five there. Yeah, it was fun. If I knew how to read the cards. Um, <laughs> but I guess, well, I could have chomped, right? Or well, actually, was that open? I could have bounced the five. Yeah, I, I would have to bounce the five, the four damage, or the five damage, four damage. I'd have to have bounced that, and then I would have stayed alive. So, yeah, it was bad. <laughs> so that's what four two. Um, now I don't know if we win that game. Regardless, um, the, the next draw was a creature. I don't know how we get past the flyer at that point. I think we would lose to the flyer, but um, but yeah, we should have done better there. Um, you know, we knew what our next couple cards were. We didn't have anything coming would have dealt with that flyer. So if we couldn't bounce the flyer, then probably should have destroyed the flyer earlier instead of bouncing it maybe but I don't remember what we bounced instead so oh well um, opponent's going to go first again that's okay we'll keep this uh, we just need a, a land we just need to draw some lands easier said than done now. <laughs> today for us so yeah so the dragon or the, uh, the, the uh, dead horde thing I gotta remember the one damage that was silliness silliness on my part 
But yeah, like I said, I think we still lost that game. Well, I know, I know we still would have lost that game. Could we have played different earlier to maybe not put us in that situation? Maybe. I don't know, though. I'd have to go back and watch that game. Because we don't die there. We do die to the fire. It's the next turn, right? So... Ooh. Okay. They may have us here. Um, we do need to get rid of that sooner than later. gives us two cards on the um, So yeah, I'll have to watch the game back. I'm curious if we could have done something earlier in the game to kind of deal with that flyer the first time that would have been better than what we did. Maybe. Yikes. Four is a lot to take here at this point. And they got a trick to keep their 2 2 alive, probably. something. Bounce that. So loses the token. I mean, it's really, that would have cost more to cast, but I mean, that is what it is at this point. <laughs> And this we can chump if we want to. Bottom line is we need to get rid of that card sooner than later. Probably. Wow, you That's bad. First? <laughs> You're not exactly a quick learner, are you? Um, ouch. I guess our options are to keep trying to deal with what's going to have us here. It's a red source, it's going to do an extra point of damage. So chomp, try to stay alive to hit a removal spell. This is a beating. One drop ripples and grows. Well, there's the removal spell we needed. That's got to go because that will kill us in the long term. <laughs> they still got another play in their hand, too. They're going to save this thing. Watch. Okay, they just return the land to their hand. And they're going to hit my zombie. 
zombie token, I guess, for two. That's the deal here. Squirrel decks are good in this format, too. Um, I remember I used to play Gruel a lot like before. Because I see these cards like Grim Initiate and the, the Hexproof um, Mana Dork. Like, I remember playing those all the time. <laughs> yup, Man Lands. The same type of deck that we've, we've lost to or played against is like very similar. I think it was this was the opponent we beat though, right? But it was a really close game. But they had Mobilized District, they had Gaia. Oh well. Um, well, I can't hit us for two there anymore. What do we have here? I'm gonna play one thing. This puts two things on the field. Oh well. So what do we do? Four, four and three. And like I said, I want to watch that one game back later and see if I could do something earlier for the flyer. We, we. I mean, at that point, even if I didn't take that damage, we would have lost the next turn to the flyer. But I think maybe I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe there was some better way to handle that earlier in the game. Um. Other than that, I don't really feel bad about... I mean, the other two times we lost, we just definitely got rolled over. <laughs> um, and our wins were solid wins. You know, we had that one really close game, which I felt was, like, well played. Then we had a couple games that were just sort of... Um, just sort of, um, you know, we, we rolled over our opponents. So. so, yeah, overall, not bad, not bad. At least we got our gems back, plus 100, so I'll take it. Um, before we go today, let's see. Yep. Let's see if we want to open some packs. I probably have some packs we can open. <laughs> I got so many murders. I got a lot of manor packs. Look at all these things. We got these War of the Spark packs. I want to open one of those. Let's open one of these. I don't know why I'm keeping threes of all this stuff. I'm thinking I'm going to draft someday with them. <laughs> if only, right? You can do that on Magic Online, right? Not on Arena, though. <laughs> um, Spark Double. Okay. I liked your deck, though. You know, at the end of the day, I had a lot of fun with that. I, I, I don't know if this will be on next week. If it is, we'll have to play again. I don't know if I'm going to do a regular stream next week or not. I have to look and see what's going on. I, um... I may do a Patreon. I do have to do a Patreon-only stream before the end of the month. I'll probably do that next week, so I don't know if I'm going to do both. I, um, I have to figure that out. So stay tuned. Next week I'll have a better idea what I'm doing. Okay, so that's that. Let's see what else is going on here. Let's open some Murders of Carlo Manor here, because it's not a stream. Unless we, uh, <laughs> unless we look at some Murders of Carlo Manor cards. Um, Reckless Detective. I don't own one of those yet. That's crazy. Um, Under City Sewers. That's good. Good card to get. We'll open a few of these. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna make you suffer. Spirits Justice. Played with that in one draft. I, I don't think... Actually, I don't know if that was on stream or if that was one of the couple games I played off stream. Um, I remember it, it was good, but the deck got handled fantastic. There you go. We'll take the wild cards. I'll open like four more of these things. Reenact the crime. That's a mythic, huh? Hmm. Hmm.
10th district hero. So another Ezra. It's amazing to me, like, all the drafts, granted, I mean, you don't see a ton of rares and mythics when you play drafts because people draft them. But I feel like so many, like, cards in the set, like, I'm still surprised when I see something I don't recognize. And granted, I mean, I, <laughs> I'm talking like I drafted this thing all the time, like, you know, really, once a week. <laughs> For a few, about six weeks or five weeks. Five weeks, I think. And then I might have played one offline. One or two offline. Um, another surveil land. I'll take that. Not bad, not bad. Okay. We'll open one more of these. Someday we got to have a big pack open party. Open all these things. World Souls Rage. Alright. Well. You know, I hope War of the Spark is on again next week. Um. I'm not sure if it will be, but that was fun. You know, I don't really want to go back to Murders and Carlisle Manor. Actually, I have fun with Murders. Um, Carlisle Manor is, like, totally fine to play. I don't mind playing it. Um, but I do think people are a little bored watching it. So, yeah, that is what it is. But anyway, so, you know, again, too bad we kind of lost that first stream because that would have been, that would have been fun, I think, to um, keep going without the break in the stream. We had a good, good amount of viewers there. Um, deck was good. Like, I feel like it could have performed a little bit better if, you know, we just kind of had some different matchups. Yeah, just one of those things. If I played a little better, maybe. <laughs> that too. Um, but I feel, I feel like the deck was good. I thought the draft went well. Um, the games we won, other than one kind of grindy one, were, were pretty much blowouts. Um, two of the games we lost were blowouts. One was a little more grindy. Uh, so... You know, that we maybe, like I said, maybe I could have won that grindier game if I made a few different decisions. Maybe, maybe not. Um, the other two, though, they were, were, we were pretty stuck. There was nothing more, we, nothing we could have done about those those two situations. But, um, but yeah, I, I had a lot of fun with this. So I hope you all have fun watching today. And, yeah, that's uh, what time is it. Yeah, so I guess that's about it for today. Um, thank you all for being here. I do appreciate it. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to... Like I said, not sure what I'm going to do next week for streams. I mean, we'll do our videos like normal, but um, stay tuned for what's happening with the stream next week. But hopefully uh, you all had a good time, and uh, I will talk to you soon. So have a great day, and uh, thanks for being here again. I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, Beanpot. Um, yeah, it wasn't a great draft environment. Like I said, I've enjoyed it. I've had fun, but, like, it's just sort of... <laughs> Like, it's awkward. <laughs> it's awkward. I, I think I said this at the very beginning of, the, of stream number one. Um, like, it feels like no matter what you do in that format, you kind of have to play the same way. Like, you're, you don't play, like, a control deck. You don't play... You don't. You definitely don't feel like you're in the Ravnica guilds at all. Like, to me, like, there's little elements in there, but to me, it does not feel like I'm playing Ravnica. It just feels like I'm sort of like racing all the time no matter what color combination i'm in if i'm in blue black i'm racing if i'm in red white i'm racing which is probably why red white's the best color combination that <laughs> and that's that if i'm in green red i'm racing it's like race 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 or you lose you know so and i don't know i understand that most likely they they just had a situation where it was kind of like well standard is stacked with sets until rotation, I mean, standard cards are going to have to be very powerful to get played. So, I don't know. These draft environments are probably going to be pretty powerful and pretty quick. I mean, what kind of draft environment do you look at murder or um, or lightning helix and, like, pass it? Like, like yeah, that's not that great of a card. It really isn't because it's all about, like, two twos and two threes and three threes. Like, it's not about, like, the giant creatures. You know, not till the end of the game. And by then, sometimes those games are already determined, you know. Um, it's it's really an awkward, strange format. You win or lose in the first probably three, four turns. Like, I wouldn't say that about this. We had that one game where we were really behind and came back um, in War of the Spark, right? Like, to me, that that's... War of the Spark probably does play a little slow. Like, not the slowest, but like a little on the slower side. Um but it has a good balance and the planeswalkers like being so accessible they did add like a weird element a weird twist to it which was fun um you know or murders just doesn't have that like they don't have that thing 
like clue tokens are a thing detectives are a thing sure like they have those they have kind of the archetypes but again no matter what archetype you're in it's just i'm either racing with detectives or i'm racing with clue tokens trying to draw into more tutus you know like <laughs> it's weird so anyway yeah not the best draft environment but it, like i said but at the end of the day did i kind of have fun with it yeah it like it felt like for a few like, like for a few weeks here playing on stream like it kind of felt like it was different it was like a weird sort of magic variant in a way is what it felt like to me um but if i played it all the time yeah i you know if i if i wasn't playing it like more than once or twice a week i'd probably be burned out pretty quick <laughs> so anyway so anyway as i was saying have a great day everybody and thank you beanpot bob joseph thank you all for uh, being here chatting with me today and uh see you again soon all right have a wonderful day